Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we're looking at interest rates as part of your financial math section on your maths course. We're looking at how to convert, uh, say, yearly interest rates into monthly interest rates. So think about it. If you're uh, putting money into a bank as a savings, um, the bank might give you a yearly interest rate or they might give you a monthly interest rate. So you might earn interest per month rather than per year. Now it's not just as simple as dividing by 12 uh, because it's compounding uh, monthly. So the interest is earning interest, as we say. So it's not as simple as just dividing by uh, 12. We're gonna look at two examples here. Um, the first example is asking us what is the rate of interest corrected to decimal place, which is equivalent to an annual rate of 6%. So in order to answer these questions, we're looking at our compound interest formula which is written as f equals p times 1 plus i to the power of t. Now we're only interested in the interest part of that formula and the time, the t. So I'm only taking the 1 plus i to the power of t section from the formula. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare it for the year. So I'm just going to break it into two sections. I'm looking at the year rate and I'm looking at the monthly rate, the rate that they're asking me to find. So I'm looking at 1 plus i to the power of t for the year and also for the month. And I'm going to put an equal sign between these because I'm trying to get them to equal to each other. Now we know that the interest rate for the year is 6% and to turn 6% into a decimal, we divide by 100, so we get 0 0.06. So this now becomes 1 plus i, which is 1 plus 0 0.06 to the power of one year, which is to the power of one. And this is equal to 1 plus i, the interest rate for the month, which we're trying to find, and the power is t, which is 12, to represent 12 months, which is equivalent to one year. So that's giving me 1.06 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of 12. Now on the left here, we can remove the power of 1 because anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So you can just remove the power of 1 in the brackets if you wish. So that's giving us 1.06 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of 12. My next step now is to remove this power of 12. And there's two ways of getting rid of a power. You can multiply it by uh, its reciprocal, so which is basically its fraction. So to get rid of 12, you multiply by a 12th. Because if you think about that, uh, 12 multiplied by 1 over 12 is giving me 1. So we're multiplying tops by tops and bottoms by bottom there. So that's one way. And our second way is you can use your, your root symbol. You can find the 12th root or the nth root. Uh, we know commonly as the square root, which is to get rid of a square. So in this example, I'm looking at, I'm going to use the fraction method. And then in my next example, I'm going to look at the square root or the nth root method. Just so you can see both ways and you can take whichever one you prefer. So that's now going to be written as 1.06 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of 12. And I'm going to multiply this now by 1 over 12. I'm multiplying the power by 1 over 12. And if I do that to one side of an equal sign or an equation, you have to do it to the left-hand side to balance it out. So I'm multiplying the left-hand side also by the power of 1 over 12. And when I go to my calculator and multiply 1.06 to the power of 12, I'm getting a very long decimal. I'm getting 1.004876 is equal to 1 plus i. Now it's to the power of 1 because 12 by a 12th is 1. Like up above, I can now multiply in that power of 1, which just gives me 1 plus i. So I'm basically just removing the brackets there. Uh, is equal to 1.0048676. We're practically done. All I have to do now is take one away from both sides, or in other words, I'm moving this one over the equal sign, if that's the way you do it, and that becomes a minus one. So it becomes 1.0048676. I know it looks like a lot of decimals, but always go to maybe about six or seven decimals uh, because the question wants two decimal places. And don't forget when you multiply by 100 in your answer, that's another two decimal places. So there's four. So go at least four, if not five or six decimals. 
six take away one is just 0 0.0048676 is equal to i. We want our interest rates as a percentage. So in order to turn this into a percentage, I just need to times by 100. And multiplying that by 100 is giving me 0 0.4 uh, 8676% is equal to i and the question wanted it to two decimal places so therefore i is equal to 0.49%. Uh, so there's our first example. This question once again wants us to convert a yearly annual rate of 14.9% for a savings account into its monthly rate to three decimal points. So I'm first of all going to write down my part of my compound interest formula, the one plus i to the power of t, and I'm doing it for both my year and I'm doing it for my month. So I'm writing it out twice and I'm just going to put above them that the left hand side will be my year and the right hand side will be my month. I'm just going to draw a line down the center of my equal sign so I'm keeping them separate. Just going to fill in everything I know on the left hand side so it's 14.9 percent I just want to turn that into a decimal so you divide it by 100 and when I divide that by 100 I get um, 0 0.149 so that's it as a decimal so for my year it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.149 all to the power of one year so that's the power of one to represent a year and I'm trying to find the monthly rate, so it's 1 plus i to the power of t, and the time for a year representing months is going to be to the power of 12. So I add these together, I get 1.149 1 equals 1 plus i to the power of 12. Now in the previous example, I showed you a way of getting rid of the 12 by multiplying it by the power of 1 twelfth, but I'm just going to use this, the square root method, the, the root method for this one, and instead of the square root, which is to the power of 2, we're using the twelfth root. So I'm going um, one plus i to the power of 12 in my twelfth root. The 12 and the twelfth root will cancel each other out. You have to do it to both sides. So whatever you do to the right, you must do to the left. So that's the 12th root. Again, if the question was talking about uh, something to the power of 5, you'd find the 5th root. So this works for any power. So when I do my 12th root, the 12 and the 12 will cancel out. So that's the point I'm using my 12th root. So that leaves me with uh, 1 plus i for my month. And then my year, when I find the 12th root of one point. 149 I get 1 1.011642 so that's the 12th root of 1.149 I'm going to subtract one from each side or move over the one so that's giving me 1.011642 subtract one is equal to i and when I take away the 1, it gives me 0 0.011642 is equal to i. My interest rate always wants to be as a percentage, so I'm going to multiply this by 100 to get it into a percentage. So that's two decimal points, which is getting me 0. Point, uh, sorry, not 0 point, it's getting me 1.1. One point, one the question wants it to three decimal points, so that means my final interest rate per month is going to be 1.164%. And that's a couple of examples on our converting interest rates. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.